Is it possible that an unknown and neglected industrial neighborhood in Washington, D.C. can become the next shopping destination and hip residential neighborhood in the nation's capital? The answer to that question is yes. The transformation has already started. 1.7 miles of prime retail and residential opportunities is open for business. In a neighborhood most Washingtonians often drive through but could not find on a map. Well, good morning, Ivy City. It's true, about a year ago, Douglas Jawal walked me through a dirt and gravel pit and told me Nike would be here next year and I said yeah well maybe I know we'll see about that and sure enough uh, Nike is here One, two, three. Jobs and Ivy City started as a railroad yard for trains coming from Baltimore 100 years ago it was an established neighborhood for African Americans who worked for the railroad companies airplanes and airports extinguished much of the rail passenger trade, and by the 1970s, Ivy City had become an industrial wasteland. Despite the continued presence of the iconic Heck Company warehouse built in 1936 in a style called Streamline Modern. magnificent building, I saw something that everyone passes and looks at, and I saw something that I could create and make something different out of it and bring it back to life, and that's what, that's what I love to do. It's just good to see the neighborhood come alive. It's a breath of fresh air. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm one of the managers here at Mom's Organic Market in Ivy City. Right on New York Avenue, you know, one of the busiest streets in D.C., we get tons of visibility from people coming in. Um, just our signage alone draws people in, and they find out what we're about. Um, we are a grocery store, but we really thrive on community outreach and getting back to the community, especially when it comes to environmental issues. Ivy City has so much raw industrial space that it just, uh, it's an opportunity for us and for other kind of creative people to get in and create something unique in Washington that's unlike anything that we've seen. I think there's a lot of businesses who are moving into this neighborhood. Um, we've met many of them who've moved in uh, just since we've moved in in 2013. It's really bringing a lot of uh, interest and a lot more uh, foot traffic and a lot more um, excitement to Ivy City. Our numbers uh, since we opened the tasting room a little over a year ago have been climbing steadily. We were really excited when this opened up and, and, and honestly bringing this here brings the folks into the neighborhood and um, you know enables them to check out what else is going on. I think it's good for the community, it's good for the area. My name is Tyler Melstein, I'm the owner and head coach of CrossFit Hierarchy. CrossFit is more than just an athletic and physical endeavor, it's more of a sense of community. With this new opportunity it opened up in the old Hex building, we're looking to just really take our community and expand and we just couldn't be more excited. So it's a whole other area, a whole other group of people that we can connect with and build our personal family we have here at CrossFit Hierarchy. We think what Douglas Development is doing in the area is phenomenal. I'd just be glad when they're all finished for everybody to come down and check it out. Developer Douglas Jamal has a vision for Ivy City that will make it a vibrant retail destination. Considering Ivy City's historic misfortunes, such a change might seem improbable, 
but the transformation is rapidly underway and a new community with unique opportunities is blossoming in what was once an industrial wasteland. Well, this neighborhood needed uh, an uplift because prior to uh, mom's coming, it was just a lot of urban blight and decay. And, you know, it took one person to see the vision and to start this revolution. We would like to be known as a community uh, yoga studio where you can bring your friends, your families. As you, you can see, we're in, actually currently in a community space. In IB City, we will have a similar setup. We've got a lot of the old charms or older buildings. I mean, the Heck building itself is just an iconic DC building. The idea of something a little out of the norm something more of a, of a meatpacking district, of a, of a Williamsburg, Brooklyn, of a, you know, various warehouse districts around the country that just maintain the character of what the city, city always had before uh, you know, major development comes through. Well, I think I owe this city a lot, and I happen to see things from different eyes, and I see things that I could take and create, and I enjoy doing it. No different than a car maker, or someone that makes clothing, or someone that designs things, or someone that paints a painting. So I look at things differently to put something back that if there's nothing there, I look, how could I put this back? But I think it's great just to be changing the neighborhood up and providing different amenities to essentially what was like a desert out here. There was nothing here before, so. And I want to thank Nike for making this investment, this commitment in Ward 5 in the District of Columbia. Let's hear it for Nike. We just saw that it was just so raw and there was such a great opportunity to do something so unique and cool there where everything else in the city has already kind of developed and already has a little bit of a culture. And this is almost a little bit of a blank canvas where we could molds this, this idea of, of New Orleans music uh, and a Brooklyn warehouse and keep this raw warehouse and concrete and steel feel. We feel the character of this neighborhood uh, and the people who are moving here and opening businesses here is really a big part of what we're doing and what we're making. So we're really proud to be in Ivy City and we want to feature it as part of what we're making. showing people what we're about. We believe in creating the experience. We believe in transparency, being open about this is where the coffee comes from. We get it from all over the world. The same thing with the roaster. The counter's open, there's a glass wall. It's an open kitchen. You can see exactly which beans, which blends, how are we roasting. I'm Eric Kugler. I'm a co-owner of Bicycle Space here in Washington, DC. And we've created a community bike shop Anybody who's driven in rush hour traffic in D.C. knows that it's gridlock. Sivy City is perfectly located where you can drop your car there, get on the bike, and get downtown. Everything that I am today, I came here in 1966 with not two cents in my pocket. I'm proud of the opportunity I've been able to do something like this. It's going to be an adventure. It's going to be fun, and it's going to be a heck of a ride. It's time for a neighborhood that's a little more fun, a little more edgy, more affordable, uh, that, that allows the, the, the young creative people to, to flock to and, uh, and enjoy.